our fundamental tips, we covered the V bridge, open bridge, or tower bridge. What I'd like to cover right now is what's many times referred to as the professional bridge, even though many of the beginning players will learn to do this also. The closed bridge is designed for a specific control of shots like in the draw where you have to hit the cue ball harder and things like that. So let's get into the formation of the closed bridge. You'll notice that the uh, hand starts out in a very unique way. We just simply make a fist. We're going to keep this very simple process. We'll make a fist like this and keep it straight in the air. Now, you don't want your hand to fall down. Just keep it straight up in the air like that. And then we're going to take the index finger with the thumb and create a loop. In other words, we're going to touch the finger right tip right to the edge of the thumb, and that creates a loop. Now, in that loop, the cue stick goes. If you're having a hard time keeping that loop, you might want to put a drop of super glue right there between those two fingers and you'll have those so they'll stay right against each other. As the cue stick goes in the loop, then we simply spread the fingers on the table like this underneath the loop. So, let's go through that again. The fist, straight in the air, making the loop, connecting the index finger tip to the thumb, and placing the cue stick in the loop, and then simply creating the foundation for the loop with the three fingers spread out underneath it. Now, when you're in that position, you're going to have what's called a good, solid, closed bridge. There's one other thing here we need to keep in mind, and that's the tension that the cue stick must be as it goes through the loop. So let's kind of illustrate that now. You'll notice here we have the cue stick. I'm going to hold it in this position. And if you hold it too tightly with this loop, you're not going to be able to move the cue stick through there, and it gets kind of sticky, and some people use powder. Actually, what you can do is you can just simply lighten the tension on this finger, and the cue stick will slowly go through your hand like that. Now, you don't want it to fall out, but you want it to be a nice, smooth, consistent, steady tension. Another way you can approach that is you can start in this position and then bring the hand back down to the table with the closed bridge already in position. So that's the way to form the closed bridge where you have to use it for certain types of more difficult shots. And that's also according to Dr. Q. You're looking for a great way to have fun, meet new people, and play some pool. Join an APA Pool League today. Visit us online at poolplayers.com.